strength training workout with Nike Global Master Trainer, Bettina Goza. All you'll need is a set of dumbbells and your beautiful mm -hmm. self. Mm -hmm. so you ready to get? No. I'm not ready. Bettina, listen, it's been a minute since I worked out. I almost went for a walk. I was like, you know what? Maybe we need to start a little slower, which is so funny because I'm normally the one that's like, let's go balls to the wall. But now I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Bettina, she a little excited. And this is a 30 minute workout with dumbbells. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see in this next clip. If I come back sweating, you'll see the difference. It's a different sweat from walking than it is from working out. Help me. Help me. Okay. <laughs> Can y'all tell which which workout I did? Do I look like I walked? I didn't. I didn't walk. I worked out. And that's why I like a glazed donut. And it is also why I want one. I haven't intentionally done weight training in a long time and I love it I love it I loved it when I got introduced to it I just haven't done it in a long time so when I first saw the workout I was like oh, okay it's a 15 minute workout I could do that one or it's a 30 minute one the inner me was like 30 minutes bro come on don't even play with it because I'm glad I went for the challenge that thing whoo I'm sleepy now. You know, you work out and you're like, okay, time for a nap. <laughs> this is day one, though, so I'm very proud of myself. Like I said, I haven't done this in a long time. Wow. Pat on the back. Look at my face. <laughs> I like a glistening young man. <laughs> hey, y'all. Today, well, hey, y'all. Sorry, I was fast. How are you? Okay, cool. Um, Today is Friday. I'm looking like a ham. My packages came from <laughs> Sweetwater. They came yesterday, but I was so exhausted. I had to drop off my car to the auto body shop to get fixed. And then I had to wait there about an hour. Yeah, an hour to get my rental, which is really nice. I like it. And then by the time I got back, my packages were here, but my body was so drained from that workout I did that I made it through child i was so tired it's it's not even wordable it's not even wordable so i really tried to get this open yesterday and i wanted to start you know plugging it up and playing with it but i just i didn't feel like and i didn't want to ruin the opening experience and i wanted to share it with y'all just in case you wanted to see what i got from sweetwater this is my first time purchasing from them i've heard many great things everybody i've talked to about it has said great things about it i was referred to them um for what i needed so yeah let's get this thing opened so y'all can see what I got. I also have packages coming tomorrow. So I'll show y'all what I got coming tomorrow from Amazon. But yeah, let's get into this one. I got a recording bundle from them. I'm not sure what the exact name of the recording bundle is. I will post it down below so you can see. But I was looking for something. I knew, I knew for a minute that I needed to get something to record with from home. I remember somebody told me they had great recording deals for a home studio. So I was like, okay, it's time to get to it, Tia. Like, come on. So that's what I got. I'm not sure what's in this box, but we're gonna find out together. Let me tell you something. My dedication and my love for y'all is real because I ain't got this fan on, child. And I really want to because I'm hot. And I got pants on. That's for y'all. <laughs> I said, shoot. I ain't trying to flash nobody, but it's hot. The recording bundle I got, it comes with an interface. It comes with a microphone, a shock mount. It comes with pop a pop filter. Ooh, it says Sweetwater Music Instruments and Pro Audio. Ooh, I was like, it's Christmas. Stay focused, girl. Comes with a lot of bubble wrap. Gonna have so much fun popping that later. And, ooh, I think this is my interface. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ah. <laughs> okay, so we got the mic stand. And we got... Ah. Why do I keep scaring myself? <laughs> this is my baby. I wish it was pink. Can y'all come out with a pink one? Just want to put that out there. So this is super exciting. 
because not because because i know what this is <laughs> this is my microphone oh <laughs> this is christmas to myself bam shout out to my ring light the x1s studio bundle the complete studio solution we'll see oh it comes with instructions too oh it came with a bag of candy. This is our sweet way of saying thank you. Isn't that so cute? And this is why people speak so well of them. Okay, so let's start putting it together. This is why you need a boyfriend. <laughs> right now. Okay, boom. So what I'm doing here is just getting this playlist ready, y'all, because I know I got to put together all this stuff. This is the mic stand that they super taped. So I'm just, boom, there it is. And there's the bottom of it. It's a really heavy plate. Um, so yeah, I'm just jamming out, child. Screwing this thing in for dear life. I feel like it took me 10 minutes to screw that in. Now this is the actual mic setup. Boom. Yep, those are my tools. That's the microphone. Now this was the tricky part because it came with instructions, child, but when I tell you, thank God for YouTube, I mean it. If I didn't have YouTube, child, I'd have been calling to send this, this thing why back, I'm child. I'm a fan you know, of like, instructions, like literal pictures for every step of the instructions. So I kept trying to put this on here, and it did not fit. So I had to look up a video to see that this part that connects to the mic stand has another screw inside it already. And you have to unscrew this first. If this is a US mic stand, you have to unscrew it. Y'all see that? So I have to stick my nail in there because I didn't know how it was to unscrew it. I have to stick my nail inside to take this out. Ooh, look at God, child. Look at God. Because I was about to say, I was about to call my Sweetwater exec and say, Aaron, because that was his name. Yeah, I saw the screw pop off help. Now this part was easy. I just was plugging everything up, screwing everything in. It was pretty easy. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to open GarageBand so we can test out the sound on the microphone. And that'll be it for this because I'm sad, I'm a hungry child, and I need a break. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Here's the connector I bought from Amazon. That's what it looks like. Uh, initially, I bought one from Best Buy when I got my computer. It was 89 bucks. And he was telling me, like, you need it, you need it. And I was like, okay. Because it doesn't have any USB ports on the actual MacBook Pro. So, uh, he got me to get it. And I was like, girl, you know better. When you about to buy something, you check Amazon. That's the way. So, that's what I did. Checked on Amazon. Got this one for what? 20 bucks. And ran. I almost walked back to Best Buy to take it back, child. Then I say thank you. Get my money back. So, that's this. This is what it looks like. Okay. If y'all want me to talk about these different ports and stuff and what come on here, let me know. I do not mind doing a little tech video. I think that would be so cool. But yeah, this end goes into my computer. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in. Once you plug it up, this turns green. So yeah, I'm about to finish setting this up and then, yeah, and I'm still hungry. I just want to remind you guys of that. I haven't eaten yet. Okay, my clicker doesn't want to work. What a wonderful world, yeah. and I hear babies cry, I watch them grow, and they mean much more than I ever know, so I think to myself, oh, what a wonderful world, what What a wonder.
wonderful world. I love the sound. I feel like I'm about to cry and I probably am. This has been a long time coming. I have recorded, like ever since I've stepped out to do music, I've always done music with other people. I've always used their equipment. I've always used their stuff. And I didn't have a problem with that. You know, I just wanted to focus on what I was doing. But one thing that I kept running into was certain compromises that I was making because I was working with other people who didn't know what they were doing to be frank some people just didn't know what they were doing and I was always on other people's time you know or I had to pay for that time but now I get to do what I want to do when I need to do I don't have to figure out when so-and-so gonna be free if they like this is is completely up to me a part of what I've wanted to do I've kind of put it in other people's hands as long as I didn't have my own setup let this be the lesson when it's something, when an idea comes to mind and you don't feel ready, you are ready. Just trust that it's time because it came up. A part of me, like almost like every three seconds, wants to break down crying. Like, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Just, just the vulnerability of not knowing what you're doing. And then this other part of me is like, oh my God, I'm about to fuck it up. I'm about to kill it. Like, I'm finally in the car. I'm about to go get something to eat. I was still playing around with the vocals and different things with um, with GarageBand. And I was just so excited, like, so excited and so proud of myself that I'm finally in a place that I wanted to be in. And it looks so backwards, but this is, this was first. This is, I'm where, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be working on my own stuff, producing my own stuff, um, learning another side of my own stuff, you know what I mean? Um, and taking full accountability for what it is that I wanna do. I am about to run to Target, I need to get some makeup wipes. And even though I really wanna keep working, I'm probably not going to, which is hard. I know it's so funny, like, you would think it's harder to keep working, but for me, when I'm really into something, it's hard for me to like put it down. It's it's a it's I have to intentionally be balanced. Y'all done got this new car child. I got a whole back camera right here and I forgot I'm still looking back. Um but it's hard for me to be balanced when I really like something. But I know I'm really tired and it's in my showing up in my voice and all I had today. Ooh, what did I eat today? I had caffeine. Did I not eat today? Oh my God, I did not eat today. All I had today was a frappe. I was gonna go get something to eat, but then I was like, well, let me go home and and um figure this stuff out first. And then once I, once I unbox my microphone and my setup, then I go get something to eat. But I unboxed everything and then I was like, well, let me set it up with my computer and then I'll go eat. And then I said, well, after I got that set up, then I was like, well, let me just record a little something, child. And now it's almost nine o'clock and I ain't ate nothing all day. But to me, that's the good kind of procrastination. I'd rather put off eating than to put off doing what it is that I really want to do. Whenever I'm working on something, my appetite takes a back seat. Um, so yeah, Target, here we come. All right, y'all, let's go into Target real quick. 30 minutes or less. I'm not playing with myself. 30 minutes or less. Hey, y'all. So here's what I got. This is what I got. Boom, boom, boom. My headphones. I got two things. This is one of them. I got headphones. It's by One Audio. Never heard of them, child. But these are Studio DJ headphones. And it was only 25 bucks. Now... If you want to sponsor me to try out headphones that are more expensive, or if you want to buy me more expensive headphones, by all means, I'm here for it, child. But if not, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on headphones. And the reason why is because I really don't like headphones to record. I literally will put one all the way off my ear. And then the one that's on this side, I, 
I pull it halfway off, child. So basically, I don't even really be having headphones on. I just have it on enough to where I can hear the music. So this is what they look like. And they're really cute for 25 bucks. That's not bad. This is what they look like. And they come with this red cord, right? And so it comes with this red cord and it comes with another cord. Now this is a mic. So if you want to plug this in to talk on a phone or to listen to music, it also has a button on here that you can use to press and play music. Hence the DJ-esque headphones. Um, but like I said, you could talk on the phone. You could plug it into any device that has an aux output. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So it comes with this cord. And lastly, it came in this bag. It's like a little sauna suit, <laughs> feel like. And then I got this. This is a USB to port USB cord. I was at my den my vanity area and I forgot what I was doing. My And my um, keyboard is over there. And I leaned over and I saw that it says USB to port. And I was like, does this mean my keyboard can work as a MIDI? Yeah, dear, that's what it means. So I looked it up, child. Find it on Amazon for $7.99. So I'm going to test this out later this week um, just to make sure it works. I'm so excited, y'all. Like, I'm very excited. I've been so bored the past couple years of my life, to be frank. Um, the last, I'd rather say the last season. I've been so bored. I've been so bored. And I knew it was time for me to do something else. I knew it was time for me to graduate to something else. But I just didn't know. I was struggling to surrender to what I was hearing. Because I don't want to lie and say I didn't know what. I didn't know what. I just felt very vulnerable. And I was struggling to trust myself. But I've been doing it. And so... I saw that to say now I'm experiencing the jitters and the excitement and the nervousness and the, can I do this? And my, you know, the questions and all those feelings that you have when you get ready to do something new. And that's how you know you're doing something new, right? So, um, so I'm excited. If you've been in a space where you are bored, maybe it's because you've mastered a certain area. I hope y'all enjoyed these couple of days I decided to vlog. I did feel to share what I got from Sweetwater and that I am getting back into my health and taking care of myself. And that workout kicked my butt. I didn't share, y'all didn't get to see me working out, child, because listen. <laughs> no, I need to keep some of my dignity, please and thank you. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. I will post the links to the stuff that I got if you're interested in it. And if you so happen to buy it, let me know. Um, let me know if you have any questions about anything that I bought or shared. I love y'all and I hope you're well. Peace, y'all.